Ladies, if you're suffering from PCOS, you've probably had this lab done. Now, it's called vitamin D. So if you've had this lab done, go grab your blood work and see what exactly is your vitamin D level. Because let me show you what the research shows on vitamin D. So in this article, it states the relationship between vitamin D deficiency and PCOS. Now, I see low vitamin D all the time on my clients that have PCOS. Now, the sweet spot when it comes to vitamin D is right around 80. Now, here's a typical lab that I see from my clients that have PCOS. So you're going to see all the way over to the right. You're going to see the ranges between 30 and 100. Then you're going to see a big red arrow and you're going to see where my client's at. Now she's sitting at 6.3. Yes, let me say that again. 6. 0.3 vitamin D. So vitamin D is needed in every single cell in your body. 100 trillion cells and vitamin D is needed for that. Now let's say your vitamin D was at 31 and in the conventional system they would say your vitamin D is fine. That's not what the research is showing. The research shows if you have PCOS you want to have your vitamin D around 80. Now it's really quite simple. Maybe you need to take 5,000 international units. Maybe you need to take 15,000 international units. You need to have a provider that can run these labs to determine where your sweet spot is and how much you need to take a vitamin D. This isn't a standard cookie cutter that everyone needs to take 5,000. In my experience with my client at PCOS, generally my clients need to take more than 5,000 per day. If you've enjoyed this content, please like, comment, and share this video with a loved one.